Hello students, myself Suresh VS, welcome back to my channel. Let's continue the lesson, Landscape of the Soul. So please take page number 36. The concept is expressed as a shan shui. The concept here means the style of Chinese painting or we can say that the Chinese concept of art is also expressed as shan shui, literally meaning mountain water. It is used to together represent the word landscape. It is also used to represent the word landscape. And here you can see that more than two elements are used in the image. So the more than two elements of an image and this represents two complementary poles or complementary poles means two poles going together or combined together or we can say that support each other and that reflects Taoist view of the universe. So it's showing the Taoist view of the universe. So in the Taoist view of the universe you can see that more than two elements are there and there are two important supporting poles are there. So we are going to see which are these complementary poles. The mountain is Yang. So one is mountain and another one is water. So mountain is known as Yang in Chinese language. And which is reaching vertically. You see that mountain that is reaching vertically, yes, towards heaven. It is standing vertically towards heaven. And you see mountain that is stable. That means stable means firmly fixed, warm and dry in the sun. Whereas the water is known as yin. And yin that is horizontal, you know, it's flying through in the, on the surface of the what? Earth. So it is a horizontal resting on the earth. And it is a fluid, it's a liquid in form and moist and cool. Okay? So there is a, a yin that is moist, cool as well as yes, fluid. So the interaction of yin. The interaction between yin and yang. The yin that is a receptive. The interaction means the action between. Okay. Yin that is a receptive. Receptive means open minded. And it is a feminine aspect. Yin is the feminine aspect of universal energy. So yin is open minded as well as the feminine aspects of universal energy. Just opposite to that its counterpart. That means it's opposite, that is yang. That is active and masculine. It's active as well as masculine. Is of course a fundamental notion of Taoism. That means the action between, the interaction between yin and yang is the fundamental principle of Taoism. Taoism, you see that it's a philosophy. Yes, based on the writings of Laos. Okay, it's a very famous Chinese philosophy based on the writings of a famous philosopher known as Lao. Um, yes, Lao also. So, what is the fundamental principle behind Taoism? That is the interaction between uh, these two elements, which are the yes, Yang and Yin. Okay, what is often overlooked is an essential third element. So in that, a third element is there in the art. Okay, in the Chinese art, you can see a third element is there that is more often overlooked or avoided or neglected or not given much importance to it or not noticed. Now. That is the middle void. The middle void, the middle void, that is void means emptiness, the middle emptiness. Okay. So where the middle void, where their interaction takes place. Actually, you see the interaction between these two, what, yang and yin, that it takes place in the middle void. Okay, that is often not noticed. This can be compared with the yogic practice of pranayam. So this can be, this means middle void can be compared with the, yes, our Indian yogic practice of pranayam. What is pranayam? All of you know that. Pranayam that is breathing. That means we inhale and retain the breath, retain the air. Uh, that means keep it there for some time 
afterwards exhale or breathe out okay and breathe out the suspension of breath is the void so the relaxation or holding the breath okay we hold the breath for some time then hold there for some time then breathe out so the holding of breath that is very important that is equal to the void that is the emptiness and the meditation happens there okay so where meditation occurs so the middle void is essential so very important pranayam middle void we breathe in hold the breath for some time then exhale so that holding relaxation that is very important same like in the chinese art of painting or art or the painting you see that this middle void is very important okay that is a indispensable that's very essential nothing can happen without it so without a middle void nothing can happen okay hence the importance of the white unpainted space is a lines yes chinese landscape so in the chinese landscape you can see that a place which would be left without painted okay and uh, in white okay so the importance of the white you can see in the chinese painting that is given that is left out without painted left uh, without painting and that is very important okay so that is the middle void that is very important in chinese painting this is also where man finds a fundamental role so this is the place where man finds his basic role so the man he plays a very basic role in this middle void in that space between heaven and earth that is the space between heaven and earth upper heaven and down earth so middle void that is coming in between and the man position is there okay so he becomes the conduct uh, conduit of communication between both poles of the universe so he becomes the conduit that means channel the man becomes the yeah, the channel of communication between this uh, both poles that is heaven and the earth okay so he is the channel of a communication between both the poles of the universe which are these poles of the universe heaven and the earth his presence is very uh, very much needed so it is very essential so the presence of human being or man is very much needed there even if it is only suggested okay even if it is only suggested there is there is only a suggestion of of his presence there is only a suggestion of man's presence uh, they far from being lost or oppressed by the lofty peaks and you see that even if it is uh, a suggestion or his presence is uh, lost or being lost or oppressed by the lofty lofty means very high uh, yes peaks so what must be there his presence is very much essential he is in franco's chen's wonderful expression the eye of the landscape so franco is chen's okay so he says that uh, or we he underlines the importance of man he says that uh, a man is very much needed there his presence is very much needed even if he is being yes lost or oppressed by the high mountains uh, what must be there the presence of human being or man is a must there and he is the eye of the landscape that is the title of the lesson also okay dear students i hope all of you understood this now let us come to another art form getting inside outer art when french painter jean de buffet de buffet mooted the concept of art brute in the 1940s so in 1940s a french painter his name was jean de buffet he suggested an idea of or a concept of art brut art brut is also known as raw art so he came uh, with a concept of uh, yes raw art in 1940s the art of the untrained visionary what is this uh, brut art or raw art raw art is the art of the untrained yes a skilled painters or we can say that thinkers not only painters artist so it is untrained visionary was of a minority interest so when he came with this idea of art brut 
only a very few people of the world noticed it or gave importance about this concept of art brood or we can say that raw art so the raw art that is the art of the untrained visionary or we can say that this is the art of the inexperienced the creative thinkers okay this is the art form of inexperienced or untrained yes creative thinkers so from its almost uh, veiled beginnings and you see that from its veiled beginnings veiled means hidden beginnings so it has started like a hidden beginning but the outsider art or art brought or raw art has gradually become the fastest growing area of interest in contemporary art internationally but you see that in modern era the modern art you see that in the modern art this art form has got a great importance and even in the international level the people started to notice these forms of art that is the art done by untrained people okay so this genre is described as the art of those who have no right so this genre there is this sort of this kind of art is described as the art of those who have no right to be artists why they are not can be called as artists because they haven't received any training they have received no formal training because they did not receive any formal training so they cannot be called as a yes an artist so yet to show talent and artist insight even though they are not a trained artist they were very excellent in their work so they had shown great talent or we can say that they are really talented and showing great artistic insight their works are stimulating contrast to a lot of mainstream offerings and you see that their work forms the work forms or their artistic work of this great two artist are really inspiring and you see that it's unlike many of the mainstream or we can say that mainstream presentations or conventional ones so that means this artist works are sometimes far better than the uh, the works of uh, some conventional artist around the time of uh, debuffet was propounding his concept propounding propounding means putting forward so at the time of uh, debuffet you see that this idea this concept while this idea about this uh, raw art was uh, yes putting forward okay so in india an untutored genius was creating paradise at the same time while yes sir dubu fat he was coming when he came forward with this uh, uh, this concept of uh, raw art in india a man had created paradise that means he had done an excellent work of raw art here that was none other than yes nectant all of you know that okay all of you heard about his name and years ago the title patch of jungle that he began clearing to make himself a garden sculpted with the stone and recycled material is not to the world today as the rock garden as chandigarh all of you know that so what did he do he cleared a patch a piece of jungle and with some waste materials and you can say that recycled materials and he sculpted then uh, with a stone as well as some recycled materials uh, uh, a rocket yes garden was created where in chandigarh and it has become world famous too it's 80 year old creator you see that is a chanakshant 80 years old yes this creator of a, a rocket garden at chandigarh Nexant is now hailed as India's biggest contributor to outsider art, and now he is called as the greatest contributor, biggest contributor of this, uh, yes, uh, what outsider art or raw art. The fiftieth issue, spring two thousand five, of Raw Vision, Raw Vision that is a UK based magazine, and in its fifteenth. edition 15 the issue of in spring season in 2005 
so it was the painter in the outside art publications okay so painter means it was the earliest magazine it started publishing about this uh, raw art and uh, this magazine has uh, uh, written about in this magazine it was written about Nekchand and features Nekchand and his rock garden sculptures woman by the waterfall on its anniversary issues cover so in its anniversary issue cover you see that this famous magazine raw vision has mentioned about the rock cut garden okay so of Nekchand a rock cut rock garden of a Nekchand at Chandigarh the notion of art brute so what is the idea of art brute or it is called also it is also called raw art was of works that were in their raw state raw state means unrefined state okay then as regards cultural and artistic influence you see the idea of art brute or raw art was of works that were in their yes unrefined state okay in respect of cultural and artistic influences anything and everything from a tin to a sink to a broken down car could be material for a work of art and you see that all the materials were used anything and uh, uh, whatever it comes uh, that can be tin or a sink or even a broken down car all the materials all the waste materials were used for this purpose okay and material for the work of art and that made yes something ch neck chand has taken to yes dizzling heights that means it uh, helped him to create a very magnificent work and uh, dizzling means okay dizzling means a rapid heights it brought him to a rapid heights that means uh, by using all these raw materials uh, or waste materials uh, neck chand could create such a wonderful creation and it brought him to a great height that means it has uh, created he had done such a very magnificent or a very excellent work that uh, acclaimed him great popularity gave him great popularity recognizing his art as an outstanding testimony of the difference a single man can make when he lives his dream and you see that this was a great example for a single man who could uh, sorry who could uh, yes uh, create such an excellent uh, work or experience his uh, success as he has uh, aspect okay so recognizing this that means as an appreciation of this the swiss commission for unesco will be honoring him by way of european exposition of his work what is exposition exposition means exhibition so they had a plan they are planning to start an exhibition of uh, nexon's work so which are the places the five months interactive show so for as a respect as a res recognition or we can say that uh, appreciation to his great work uh, you see that an exhibition that has that is going to be arranged so the five month interactive show so realm 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 of uh, nexon's so the five month interactive show it was titled as a realm of uh, yes nexant beginning october so it is starting from october onwards that will be uh, held at uh, leading museums in uh, uh, switzerland belgium france and uh, italy okay in all these places you see that uh, uh, what would be conducted yes the exhibition would be conducted the biggest reward is walking through the garden and seeing people enjoy my creation nexant says so next time says that so for me the biggest award for me is walking through the garden and uh, seeing the people enjoying my garden that is my greatest uh, yes uh, admiration or we can say that uh, my greatest uh, victory who says or bi biggest uh, yes a reward so who says next time says dear students i hope all of you understood this lesson very well so please like and subscribe my channel thank you thank you for watching it